I have to be 100% focused on the knife I'm making, specifically with regards to the metallurgy. If you put two knives side by side, they look similar that they both have blades and handles. So what's the fundamental difference is the metallurgy. What we're trying to achieve is uh, through all the forging process and through the uh, application of time and temperature, we're trying to achieve a really, really fine grain structure in the steel, a super fine grain structure. And high heat is the enemy of super fine grain structure. High heat in steel will result in a really large grain structure, which makes the steel inherently weak. And forge welding typically takes place at higher temperatures. What we're trying to do ideally is get two dissimilar types of metal to fuse perfectly together at the lowest possible temperature. Anyone can heat it up an extra 20% and ensure that they can get the forge weld, but uh, that comes at somewhat of a price, uh, uh, the detriment of the final cutting performance of the blade. How can you make the blade so it's harder and yet flexible and tough? and take a finer edge and hold that edge and yet still be really easy to sharpen and maintain. So my mindset when I make knives now is I'm solely focused on the metallurgy. You wanna make a blade pretty and polished and nice to look at, but if the metallurgy's not there, then basically the heart and soul of the blade won't be there. All I'm focused on is what the steel likes and not trying to make it into something it might not wanna be Hammering the steel in a way that it likes to be hammered and doing it at the right temperature, stopping at the right time, and doing it at successfully lower and lower temperatures with each forging heat. As I know that's going to produce a superior blade. So that's my mindset, and it has to you know, take place in a one blade at a time. My goal is to make the finest knife possible, and I believe if I can do that, the, the rest of the chips will fall into place. And, and they have been for, for 26 years. It, it is physically exhausting work but it's also invigorating at the same time. The more intimately aware I become of what the steel wants, the more difficult it is for me to heat the steel up to a high temperature for forge dwelling. It's like, oh, I know the steel doesn't like that, but I gotta do it anyway. The, the more intimate I become with the steel, the less prone I am to kind of abuse it to the point where you have to really heat it really hot in order to get it to, to, to fuse.